Hey, it's Nicky Bra. In one of my first videos, I told you that nowadays, information about health, nutrition, training, performance, and so on, hormones, it's all traffic driven, all marketing driven, it's all about advertisement, it's all about spreading what the people want to hear, um, but it's far away from the actual truth usually. So now I will show you just one small example of how it usually looks like and um, well giving you some perspective on what you should um, watch out for. So we have um, what's it called Daily Mail I guess um, like a newspaper article I hope you can you, you can um, you can see it uh, like it says um, it's from January uh, 2019 one egg a day lowers your risk of type 2 diabetes, blah, blah, blah. So this is one newspaper and they say one egg a day lowers your risk of type 2 diabetes. So basically what they're saying is that, well, eggs, it's not that bad. Now the same newspaper, Daily Mail again, look, this is like Daily Mail Health and this is like Daily Mail science <laughs> you know what i'm saying so here they say november 2020 eating just one egg a day here they say one egg a day lowers risk you know and here they say eating just one egg a day increases your risk of diabetes by 60 percent you know so well one and a half years in between but the human body did not change that much evolutionary in this one and a half years so one of this has to be wrong i think so as you can see these newspaper articles netflix videos influencer videos it's really not a good reference for well understanding what you really need basically my favorite quote one of my favorite quotes of all time is Theory and practice is the same in theory, but not in practice. I studied biochemistry on an extremely high level, extremely high level, but the most for my practical use, for what I recommend to my clients. Yes, I learned a lot in biochemistry. I worked with amazing people where I learned so much about how everything functions, but the most I learned is actually working with people and solving their problems. This is where I, for myself and for my knowledge, I learned the most about. So I can tell you which one is wrong, you know, because yes, the theory is there, but in practice is that I give someone a certain, well, even before I tell someone, well, you go, you go and take blood work and you measure this, this, this. Then I put him on a certain diet and then we remeasure blood again in let's say three months and then we see improvements and then I know, okay, this works. So this is how it should be. You should never rely on, let's say, Netflix documentaries which are like pushed with advertisement money and you should not rely on newspaper articles. I mean, there's so much ads here just on this page and I already had to crop it. I mean, it's all traffic driven and well, now imagine it's all traffic driven and they want people to click on it so they kind of have to cope with what people want to read about or want to hear or feel confirmed so let's say there is a certain vegan agenda now going on and now it's very profitable to um to publish newspaper articles to say yes veganism is the most uh, is the healthiest choice you can you can have just so people click on it, read about it, and then tell their friends, hey man, I read about this vegan article, you know, I told you I was right, blah, blah, blah. So, never ever get your information from newspaper articles, Netflix documentaries, and all this, well, all this big box, basically, of not serious information. So, like... I mean, it's ridiculous, to be honest. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. And this is just one example I'm giving you here. I could give you like 1,000. But um, 
um, well, aspect number two I want to talk about is um, studies. Well, because here in this uh, newspaper articles they say Contro controversial study um, says, and here they say um, a Chinese study or Finnish study or whatever they're saying. Um, uh, well, first of all, you can. <laughs> oh, for, from my experience, let's start here. From my experience, when someone says, well, you need to eat X, Y, Z to raise your testosterone levels. This is the study I read about. 99.9% .9 of the people who say this, they did not even read the study fully with all papers because the study is not just the headline and not just the description, but the study is usually, you know, there's some paper to it. And of this, let's say 0.1% who really read through all, the, all of this paper, roughly maybe, let's say 5%, they understand what the scientists talk about. And for every single, well, fact, let's say, you can find studies. So basically, um, you can say, well, go ahead and find them, basically. You can say, um, a fish raises testosterone, you can find studies, you can find studies fish, because of fish, testosterone is decreased. So you can find studies pro and con, pro and con. And now it's all about the cherry picking. What you want to cherry pick basically? And what do you want to promote? Do you, promote, do you want to promote no fish? Then you just cherry pick the no fish studies. Do you want to promote pro fish? Then you just cherry pick the pro fish studies. This is how people are doing it, it's absolutely ridiculous. And then well, they package it, they, they, make, they make it nice, you know, nice coloring, nice diagrams, nice animations. Then they package, oh, now we found studies that this is this. People watch it, they say, oh, it makes sense, and nice diagrams, nice colors, man. It's really convincing. Now the problem is there that people really start to believe some things that are really not the truth, and they adjust their life to it, and then it goes downhill, because, I mean, we don't want to discuss which one is right, which one is wrong. We don't care now. But, I mean, one of them has to be wrong, right? And it's the same magazine or newspaper. It's the same. So, one of them has to be wrong. And, I mean, it just shows that there is no, no double-checking or whatever. They don't care what's posted too much, I see. Because even if they are, let's say, pro-eggs, they have to double check, is there something, maybe there is an article already that's against eggs, so maybe we will not publish. So, as you can see, they don't care, they just care about ads, 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 ads. I really had to crop out lots of ads <laughs> to, to show you this screenshot, but it's ridiculous. So, like I said, studies, also a great reference. Not if, I mean, my opinion is, a study is a great reference when you conduct it. Because us, in the, well, in, in, in biochemistry back in the day, we used to say, whoever pays the orchestra decides what music is played. Um, that's what we said. Because I know for a fact that there were companies, they paid, let's say, us, they paid us, they paid scientists to research something, and they already expected a certain expected a certain result so they can show this result oh, okay our product works for example this is like factual procedure that it is paid you know because i mean it's a great endeavor it's a great endeavor you have to pay scientists you have to pay equipment it's time and energy you have to write the papers you have to conduct the full study i mean it just takes time and energy it's a lot of money so, who is going to research whether some unknown substance XYZ uh, works or not? Well, who wants to research it? The one who produces it, you know? So, he pays for it, maybe he pays over the top, so he can expect a certain result, basically. So, studies also, to be honest, is not a great reference, except you done a study yourself because then you know all the nuances then you know what you tested and what you left out for a reason whether the reason is good or bad because you can you can conduct a study whatever 
And if you pick right parameter, parameters and factors, then you can manipulate the result easily if you know what you're doing. So that's why I'm going to say that studies is also not the best reference. I mean, oh, I read a study that meat is bad. Oh, I, I read a study that uh, caviar is bad, let's say. Um, have you conducted the study? Have you ever tried even caviar? Have you ever, have you ever tried real caviar? Not synthetic farmed one, but like real one, for example. Um, no, so, okay. So people like to comment on something they did not even have tried yet properly, just maybe to get attention, to get confirmation, and this gets spread basically like a virus, literally. So it's critical where you get your information from, but you are very, very lucky, my friend, because me, I conducted the study for over 10 years now. I coached over 10,000 people, hand in hand, one to one, looking at their blood work, analyzing every single week, analyzing nutrition, regular blood work to check whether everything is on the right track. So I know what works. I know. I did this and this happened. I did this and this happened. So it's like, I know, I put the leverage here and this was the result. So it's like a huge study with over 10,000 people I conducted um, to understand how hormones work, how nutrition works, how performance works, how you can get the most out of your organism, basically. So if you need my professional help, if you want to be one more, if you want to be operating at 100% and eliminating all confusion because from this point on when we start to work you don't need to read any newspaper articles you don't need to watch any documentaries you just execute and that's it there's no more confusion you get pinpointed what's to do and this you have just to do and everything will be a-okay so if you need my help contact me on social media or nikibra.com i will get back to you with an 12 hours and check up on you what's your situation what your goals are and then we will get going and i will eliminate all confusion and you don't have to waste any more time looking at any documentaries or reading newspaper articles um, or looking at instagram motivational pictures or diagrams what say what tweet what not whatever i mean you know what you, you know what i'm saying now so Message me anytime, I will get back to you within 12 hours and um, see you in the next video.